fly you away, you away, you away Yeah, tell these other guys, get out your way, they can't complain Yeah, your mama proud of you, you out here doing your thing You said you been bad and bullshit, something you can't change Hey guys, so I just got up a little minute ago and um, today I decided this is long overdue but I'm finally going to do my skincare routine. So, yeah, finally going to do that. I'm excited because I've been talking about this and I really feel like I have it down packed to what works for my skin. Just a little overview, it took me years you guys, years to, oh wait, I'm tripping, months, no about a year, about a year, okay whatever. I had really bad acne like okay high school I didn't really have acne I just had like spurts of pimples fast forward a little bit towards when I graduated I started getting acne and when I first moved to LA my whole forehead was covered in acne and it was like mostly around here mostly this side was my bad side um and now I kind of break out more on here if I do break out but yeah so it's been a journey like last year on my birthday I went to Hawaii and I remember my skin was so bad and then I went to London shortly after that um for or no before that i went to london for some work with my agency and that was the worst my skin has ever been if i'm able to find the pictures i'm gonna insert the pictures because it's kind of unbelievable like my skin now of course it's still not perfect but drastically better like i can go outside without makeup and be confident but be around a guy I like with not a trace of makeup on and feel amazing like I've come a long way I was very insecure used to constantly cover myself with tons of foundation and whatever and I'm finally at a place where I'm comfortable so anyways let's just get into this skincare routine Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just pull my hair back. And I'm going to just take some cotton pads because if I do have any leftover makeup on my face or just dirt or whatever, I'll use some micellar water. And I also use this just to remove my makeup in general, which will be for like maybe a get unready with me video. So I just put a little bit of this onto the cotton pad and I'm just going to go around my face. Just to wipe off any excess products. I have a pimple like right here that I was picking at. And so it's like in the phase of being really dry right now. So. Don't mind that. Just going to go again. Just to make sure there's nothing on my face. I'm going to just go ahead and wash my hands. Don't ever touch your face with dirty hands. I probably should have done it before this, but it's okay. I'm going to wash my hands. Alright, so now I'm going to be washing my face. So this is the acne.org cleanser. And it's basically just a very simple... So it's just a very simple... Um, Cleanser, it says it's extra gentle, thick foaming lather, doesn't over dry, cleanses completely, rinses clean, fragrance, fragrance free and dye free. I just had to shift the camera because you could see the ring light in the back and I didn't want that to throw anything off. Um, yeah, so basically the, this is not a sponsored video which is why I didn't want to go too in depth of this product. But what I use to clear my skin is the line acne.org. So acne.org is basically a skincare line, I guess you could say. Um, you could just literally type in acne.org and you'll find it. And a friend recommended it to me along with my mother who used this as well to clear her acne. She had adult acne. So to make a long story short, acne.org basically is a line of just simple products, fragrance-free, dye-free, just very very simple ingredients like it doesn't have all that extra stuff if you go look at the ingredients and that is what like the secret is because less is more and before when I was breaking out very really bad I was trying to use every product 
that had something to do with clearing acne to fix my skin and that only made it worse so the trick is well the trick that worked for me personally was just to use a product that didn't have as much so as far as my cleanser i went for maybe using like the clean and clear exfoliating beads something like that to just a very simple cleanser with nothing in it i would compare this to probably like cerave or I don't know there's a few other brands that just very simple like doesn't do anything it just cleanses and that is it doesn't direct you towards acne moisture anything just cleanses your skin and that is it so less is more when it comes to products so this is what I use to wash my face and I'm just gonna walk you through each product as I go along but just a very simple clear cleanser so I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my face and then I'll come back when I'm done so just to show you guys how it looks up close it's just a nice little lather nothing crazy I'm gonna go rinse this so after I wash my face to dry it I typically like to use just paper towels because it's more sanitary and I feel like you know you're not getting any excess dirt on your face from like repeatedly drying it with the same towel but paper towels are kind of scarce in my area right now so I've just been using um, a face towel and I just pat dry, but before this whole pandemic, y'all, I would only use paper towels. I just don't really have any to waste and I wash my face like twice a day, so that's a lot of paper towels. So yeah, just pat dry. Do not rub and be rough with your skin. Simply pat dry. Also, excuse my dog. He's in the cage because he has been a bad boy. So anyways, after I wash my face and dry it, I use these two products. Sometimes I pick one or sometimes I'll use both but this is excuse my mispronunciation the caudal caudal caudally caudally my mom recommended this to me and if you have sensitive skin or your skin dries out very easily like my skin is more on the drier side this is a toner without alcohol in it so it just cleanses your skin you know and just smooths it without the dry feeling so once again I'm gonna just take um, a cotton pad and I believe in toners toners are just good because it takes off all the extra oils that are still not off your face even after washing it and doing all that stuff so yeah I still really like using a toner and I was just wiping but I would say more so pat into your skin don't really wipe because that causes wrinkles and just it's just better to pat now I'm going to just take the Ole Henriksen Glow Dark Spot Toner. High potency AHAs. So this one, um, it says at night, but I do in the day sometimes too. Basically, this toner is directed towards getting all those little spots off your face. So it's a dark spot toner. So it lightens those spots for you. So I just put a little bit of this on the compound. I guess it would make sense to kind of let your face dry if you're using two toners like me. Sometimes I'll only use this in the day and this more so at night. So it just kind of sits into my skin more and gets all these little spots off. And I recently had some breakouts right here. So I'm getting rid of the spots. But they're almost gone. So I'm kind of happy. So now I'm just going to pat this onto the areas where I need it to be directed to. Forehead. And this little bad boy right here, I need that spot to go away. So now you're just going to let your face air dry. Don't do anything or put anything else on your skin until your face until your face air dries. And sometimes I'll just be extra and use a fan to speed this up. So now I'm going to go ahead and use this eye cream. So this is by Murad. Murad Hydration Hydrodynamic Ultra Moisture for Eyes. So I got this in a BoxyCharm box. Um, but before this, I'll show you the eye cream that I was using, which... I'm not gonna lie, I don't see any drastic differences. I just feel like it's important to incorporate an eye cream in my skincare routine. So hopefully I will find one that I feel like this is amazing. But for now, um, this one is just more for moisture because I have dry skin. So your under eyes get very dry and it's just important to keep your whole face, you know, at an even level. So um, this is the Kiehl's Youth Dose Eye Treatment. So I'm gonna use a little of both today just to be extra. So I take the tiniest dot and with this one, you're just going to pat under your eyes. So don't even rub. Patting is the key for every product, y'all. Pat, pat, pat. And a little bit above the eye. Also, when my eyelash extensions dry, 
I'm going to just brush them out, but they're still a little bit damp. Um, and then I'm just going to take the Murad one and put that under my eyes as well. This one's a little bit thicker, so I kind of rub this one just very lightly. Rub and pat. I'm going to just take this Laniage Lip Sleeping Mask. And sorry if I'm butchering all these names. I'm so, I just don't know how to pronounce things well. But yeah, this one's called Laniage or Laniage uh, Sleeping Lip Sleeping Mask. But I use this as just lip balm in the day because it's more on the lip balm side, but it's glossy. So you can honestly wear this as a lip gloss. And it says a night mask because it's just very moisturizing. So this makes my lips super soft. And lately my lips have been very dry. So I needed a little something extra. So after my skin is dry from the toner, this is the actual product that cleared my skin. So this is very important, y'all. It is the Acne.org Benzoyl Peroxide Treatment. So, soothing gel-based formula goes on clear, absorbs completely, fragrance-free, and dye-free. Yeah. So, it says, works as well as 10% benzoyl peroxide without the excessive dryness and irritation. So, um, yeah, this is the most important product. If you're not going to use the cleanser or the moisturizer, this is what you need to get. So this comes, I got originally like a package deal, so it came with the cleanser I showed you, the moisturizer, this, and it came with the AHA, which I'm going to show you later. So you can buy them separately or you can get smaller versions of each thing. I just got the regular big one of everything because I was like, I need, I need this stuff to work. I'm going to get it all. So the benzoyl peroxide, um, it's going to come with an instruction sheet and you have to follow the instructions very, very specifically in order for this to work. It will not work if you do not follow the instructions. I have a friend that was breaking out very bad. Once she saw this clear my skin, she's like, I'm going to try that. But she wasn't following the instructions. She would do it every couple days. Wouldn't let her skin fully dry before putting on another product. Like you have to be very precise with this, you guys. So if it doesn't work and you're not doing all the right steps, then that might be why. But I will say it took about six months for me to fully see results. And my mom even previously told me that it was going to take a long time. She said she didn't even notice results so four months in. So it's a journey. It is a process. But you have to be patient because I'm so grateful now that I waited and that I stuck this out. So enough of the chit chat. I just wanted to be really informative because I know a lot of you guys struggle with acne and want to find something that works for you. And you're not going to use a toner if you're first doing this and you have acne because... You just need very simple steps. I incorporated a toner and a different moisturizer months, almost a year after this worked for me. So once your skin is comfortable with it, then you could start switching things out. But I always still use this. So it's going to tell you after your skin is fully dry, after um, washing it, take about, it says about like a two finger amount. But I use a little bit less now because I don't need this much anymore. And you're just going to put it all over your face. Or anywhere that you break out so I went crazy with it when I first got this like I put a lot on you guys a lot and I went heavier at night and you can do this in the day it's not just a night thing I do it underneath my makeup so that it's working throughout the day even while I do have on makeup um so yeah I'm gonna just put this all over my face And then the next step is that you have to let this dry as well. So you don't apply any other products till the other one is fully dry. So um, I used to have like an electric fan to just speed this up or this fan. Or sometimes I'll just do this while I have other things to do around my house. And then after like 5 to 10 minutes, my base will be fully dry. So you have to be patient. If you're on the go and you feel like you're not going to have enough time for all this, then it might not be the best option. But it is worth it. I will say that. So yeah, just let this dry. Alright you guys, so now um, my face is pretty much dried and I'm going to show you guys what I use to moisturize. So when I first started this, I was using the one that they sell. So this is just basic moisturizer, fragrance free, dye free, all that stuff. All it does is just add some simple moisturization. But because I am on the drier side... This is the one that I incorporated now that I've been doing this for like a year. So this is the First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Cream with Intense Hydration. I'm actually completely out of this. Um, I just ordered a new one since we can't go into stores. But they sell this at Sephora. 
so this is just directed towards very dry skin so i would typically take which i'm going to just use up the little bit that's in here and then mix it with the one that it comes with um yeah so i would just take a little bit of that and then because i have drier skin i would take some jojoba oil i got this from amazon and if you just type in jojoba oil it's the Cliganic brand um 100 pure and natural cold pressed unrefined chemical free lightweight it's for your hair face body it's cruelty free vegan free for my vegans so i just take this it comes with a dropper and i just drop a few drops into there depending on how dry your skin is you can use more or less and then good pat but i probably just will rub um yeah and just put this all over my face my face very very shiny um okay so now i'm very greased up like when i first started using this my skin was like peeling it was flaky it was just dry patches it was so dry and it's gonna be like that for probably about two weeks to a month at longest and then once your skin finally gets used to um the benzoyl peroxide because this is a very drying product so once your skin gets used to this then it's gonna just kind of ease into it and you won't get those dry patches and all the extra was and all the extra dryness anymore so just be patient that's the biggest thing with using this system so if it was nighttime what I would also incorporate, which I don't even really use this anymore because I just forget and I don't really need it. But they also have an AHA. So this is the AHA. This is the AHA glycolic acid. So this just says powerfully exfoliating, improves skin texture, leaves complexion visibly smoother, reduces irritation, ultra hydrating, won't clog your pores. Um, so this is just to improve the texture of your skin. Like if you have a lot of marks and you have extra dryness, add this into your moisturizer or use it in replacement of moisturizer, a few drops of jojoba oil, and at night only. Um, and this will just help improve all of that, like your texture, marks, dry patches. Um, but they tell you not to start incorporating that into the routine until you've been using this system for a month. Do not do it right away. I mean, if you want, use it at your own risk. Use it at your own risk. But I didn't start using it till about a month after, and now I don't even use it. But every now and then I might. I'm just not consistent with it. So that pretty much sums it up, y'all, for my skincare routine. Um, that's basically what I do after I wash my face. And then I'm just going to show you all the little extra things I do, um, if need be. So if I'm really breaking out bad and I've done all of this, I'll go back with some of the benzoyl peroxide on a Q-tip and just spot put it on the specific pimples that I have just for some extra help. I'll also use this. So this is the Kate Somerville Acne Treatment. It's a spot treatment, and it's similar to the Mario Badescu one, but this one to me is stronger. So, I used to use Mario, now I use Kate Somerville. Get this from Sephora. With this, you're just going to open it up. Don't shake it because you want all of the pink stuff at the bottom, like the clay, to stay at the bottom. So, do not shake this. You're going to take a Q-tip, place it directly at the bottom, and then just put it on any spots that you have. And by the morning, it'll be dried up or just reduced or more susceptible to be popped. Even though you shouldn't pop your pimples, I do. Not going to lie, but that's how I have marks because I pop my pimples. So if you can't, if you can refrain from doing so, do it. So this, that's just when I have really bad pimples or I need something a little bit extra. I'm going to go ahead and take some Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is just the rose water one. And that just helps give some extra moisture to your skin. If it's a really hot day, I'll carry that in my purse and just refresh my skin with it. Um, aside from setting sprays, like if I'm not wearing makeup, or if you are wearing makeup, it's still good to just refresh your skin. Especially having dry skin. Rose water is great, y'all. I recommend doing that before your moisturizer. Um, but don't incorporate that if you're doing this system. Because I would just stick to exactly what they give you and tell you until you see an improvement in your skin. And then you could start making it your own. Alright, so another thing I like to do at nighttime, if my skin is on the drier side, like if I've been using a lot of acne products and my skin's just really dry or it's just dry in general, I will take this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Overnight Repairing Mask. I also used this in the day yesterday because I was just home all day, so I was like, I'm just going to have this on my face while I'm, you know, getting things done. 
So it's like a jelly, a clear, doesn't smell like anything, but it's just a clear, clear jelly um, material. And what I do is I take this little paintbrush, I guess, and I just take that and just apply it on my skin. I just leave it there either all day if I'm in the house or overnight. And then in the morning, it'll have absorbed into your skin, and you'll notice just a very big difference. Actually, I did this last night, and I woke up, and my skin was just a lot softer. So I love doing that. Another really good mask um, is this one, the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment, but I'm completely out of this. And this one smells really good. It smells like vanilla. But yeah, I'm out. This is just the mini version. Again, Sephora. But this is a great one by Glam Glow. I need to re-up. It's just stores are not open. So it's annoying to have to order everything because you don't get it, you know, for some days. One more really good mask I will show you guys is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This is good for um, acne as well. But it's very drying. So I sometimes only use this to spot conceal. Or spot correct like the same thing that this would do I might use for this and switch it up but I'm also out of this I'm just keeping them to remind myself to get more it is the health and beauty Aztec secret Indian he Indian healing clay so you take this in a little bowl put like a few splashes of some just raw apple cider vinegar raw unfiltered organic apple cider vinegar I also add a little bit of water to dilute it because when you combine these two it's going to be super strong and dry the heck out of your skin so be very careful because I will say when I had just started using that whole acne.org system I think in between there I used this mask and you guys my skin was unbelievably dry for like a week like I couldn't even go anywhere I couldn't put on makeup it was terrible and I was like oh my god this is almost worse than having acne because my skin was just so dry it looked terrible so be very very careful with this um, I would probably wait to use this if you're doing the system don't go too crazy with extra products but now if I want to have a little extra boost in my skin I'll use this leave it on for like 15 minutes or until it's fully dry take it off that's that It'll help a little bit tone things down. Alright, so my camera like fell mid whatever me recording. But basically those were all the products that I use. That's everything that pretty much um, I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to try my best to link everything that I use below. But um, aside from this guy, my skin is pretty good right now. So I hope this helped you guys. I've been saying I was going to do it for a while. But I just was never in the right setting. I was at home. My skin was just messed up. It was a lot of factors holding me back. So we're done with excuses. Finally got it done for y'all. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Bye.